What's up everybody, Tony here with High Tech Check, and today we're going to be taking a look at a full lineup of Whitestone domes, glass, and film screen protectors for the brand new Galaxy Fold 4. Now I will be putting links in the description in case you guys want to pick these up yourself, and if you guys like me and want to support my channel, please use those links because it helps me keep purchasing products to do reviews for you guys. We have a full assortment here, like I said, we have their premium film, their premium gen film, the Dome Glass EZ, and their flagship premium screen protector protector with liquid adhesive. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so here is Whitestone Dome's premium film. So we get a little piece of installation foam. We get a camera protector that's made of aluminum, our squeegee, our installation packet, our instructions, a screen protector for the inside screen and a screen protector for the outside screen as well as a spine protector. So the first thing you want to do is to put down your installation film. Kind of put that down where you think you might want to install your screen protectors. So first we're going to start off with the inside screen. Go ahead and wipe off the screen really well. And we'll dry it off. Then we'll use our dust sticker to get rid of any dust we might see. So we're going to place our phone with the flatter side without the camera against our phone just like this. We're going to go ahead and peel off the back film here. I have to rotate my screen because I'm going to install it like this. We're going to hold on to the tabs and kind of put it down the best that you can. Go ahead and take our squeegee and kind of just squeegee out some of the bubbles so the screen protector adheres to the screen. It doesn't make a huge difference, but it does stay down while we're installing. Now we're gonna go ahead and pull back on one. We're gonna put the squeegee in the middle. Make sure it goes in between the metal posts of your phone. We'll lift one backwards, just like this. Make sure it goes up and over your screen and just push that out and get out any bubbles we might see. And we're gonna do the same thing for the other side. Put our squeegee back here, lift up on two, and we'll just squeegee out forward. Try to squeegee out any bubbles. Then we're gonna use a guide sticker in one of the corners to kind of peel up their protective cover. So I'll do it in this corner here. Just put the guide sticker down and then just slowly peel up and the top screen protector will come with it. And then very gently try to squeegee out any bubbles you might see. They would disappear in a couple days, so don't push uh, really hard at all. Just very gently try to get rid of any of the bubbles. But again, like I said, they should disappear within a couple days. All right, so let's look at the installation. There are a couple bubbles, very small, very minor. Those should disappear within a couple days, like I said. It feels just like the screen that's, that came with your phone. Very nice. We'll go ahead and test out the touch. Touch working beautiful. Very nice. No problems at all. Let's go ahead and test out the crease. We'll go ahead and fold it up. Still looks really nice. Not bad at all. It does collect some fingerprints, but you should just be able to wipe those away very easily without hardly any effort, which I am. Very nice. Installation was not bad at all. It was pretty easy. And again, like I said, touch feels just like the screen protector that came installed on your phone. All right, so let's go ahead and do the outer screen protector now. Make sure you clean the screen off really well and then dry it off. Get rid of any dust. All right, then we're gonna take our screen protector here. We're gonna take off the adhesive on the back. Again, don't touch the underside. We're gonna have to line it up the best we can here using the tabs. Once you have it down, go ahead and use the squeegee to get out any bubbles you might see. Again, we're gonna put the squeegee behind the line here, pull back on one, up and over the screen and push out. Same thing with number two. Put the squeegee down, lift up on two, up and over, push out. Get out any bubbles you might see. I don't see any bubbles. <laughs> Worked out pretty well. Go ahead and take a guide sticker to one of the corners again. Again, be very careful when you're lifting up. And there we go. Pretty easy installation. And it covers pretty much all of the screen. Feels real nice. Just... <laughs> Kind of like the glass, almost. Very nice. Touch, perfectly fine. Very responsive and smooth. 
very clear, working very nice, very nice, I like it. Let's go ahead and test out our fingerprints. It does collect some fingerprints, but again, you just easily wipe those away without hardly any effort. Very nice. Now there is a slight, slight line in the middle of the screen. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's so, it's very slight. If you're looking at the screen, you really can't see it, but if you put it in the, the light, you can. Hopefully that should disappear within a couple days, but it's not horrible. So when I tried to put my case on, it did peel up this little top edge in the corner here. That's not the that's not the fault of the screen protector, uh, but it's just something that happened. So I'm gonna try to put this on one more time here. Okay, there we go. So it was just the way that I put the case cover on. It kind of smooshed up on the top screen protector there, but I reinstalled it again and it's perfectly fine now. It just sits underneath the case. So very nice screen protector film. Very clear, easy installation, no bubbles. Looks like it's case friendly, very nice. So one more install, we have a rear screen protector as well. So go ahead and clean off our phone, dry it off. And again, we'll go ahead and peel off the underside of the screen protector just like that. And we'll go ahead and hold on the tabs and put it down the best we can. Use our squeegee to kind of get it to adhere to the screen. All right, looking good. We'll go ahead and push this up. We're gonna put our squeegee behind number one. Now we're gonna to have to put it off to the side of the camera because we can't get all the way over. So we'll lift up on one, up and over here. We're gonna kind of have to help this up and over the camera, just like that. We'll go ahead and get around to the camera as well. I'll go ahead and do the same thing for number two. Behind the line, up and over, push out, and there you go. Now again, we're gonna take our guide sticker, put it in one of the corners, and then carefully lift up. And get out any bubbles you might see. So not too bad, now we have a glossy back, and hopefully these little bubbles and markings will go away after a couple days. But it does feel pretty nice. And fingerprints, does pick a little bit of fingerprints up, but you can wipe those away. And this will be good if you want to go uh, with the phone without a case on it. Give you some back protection here. And that's what it looks like with the installed aluminum camera protector. As you can see, it does give some raised edge to your camera bump, so anything that's gonna touch is gonna hit that aluminum piece instead of your camera lenses. Very nice. So now we'll go ahead and install the spine protector. Go ahead and wipe that down. Okay, so we're gonna take our protector, you're gonna peel off number one, which is underneath. Then we're gonna hold on to the tabs and kind of line it up the best that we can. And then when you have it in place, just kind of push it down with your finger. Then we're gonna take our squeegee, put it behind the line, pull back on two, up and over. Just like that. Do the same thing for the other side. Pull back, up and over, and out. Then you can use your little wipe to push down the middle because we still have the protective cover to take off. Then you just peel off the protective cover, just like that. And then you can use the wipe again to push down the rest of the protector. Now your hinge is all protected. You almost can't even tell that it's on there. So all in all, very nice screen protectors. You get th four of them actually, one inner, one out, and one for the back, and one for the hinge. So you really can't go wrong. So I'm definitely gonna give this one a thumbs up. And then here we have White Sum Dome's Premium Gen Film. Looks like we get an inner screen screen protector and a screen protector for the outside screen and a hinge screen protector. We also get another installation film. We get our squeegee, our installation packet, some removal film, our instructions, and then our installation tray. So this one does require some putting together. It's not very hard at all. You can definitely do it, and I'll show you how. So here we have the main installation tray. We have the top showing up above here and the bottom towards me. We're gonna take this little piece here. We're gonna stick it 
inside this little section here. Make sure that that's very tightly installed. We're going to go ahead and take our phone, make sure the cameras are towards the top. Just going to wipe down our screen, very good, and then we're going to dry it off. And then we can use our dust sticker to take care of any dust we might see. Now this is super important. Make sure you do this exactly as I tell you because I messed this up on the Fold 3 and it was a disaster. We only get one, one real shot at this. So there's holes up at the top here. Those are going to go into these little posts here. And then these little sections here are going to go onto the little posts here. Note that you can only put it one way. Uh, and very carefully when you do this make sure that this screen does not touch the screen of the phone or there's going to be a lot of trouble. <laughs> so that's number one. Number two is we need to be very careful when we're peeling off this number one making sure not to peel off the top protective cover because if we do that there's going to be trouble. So <laughs> two things we need to be sure of. Don't touch the screen and Make sure when we peel off the number one that it doesn't peel off the top protective layer. So here we go. Put it against our little foam post. Again, super important. Make sure that when we peel off number one, it peels off nicely and doesn't peel off the top layer. So we'll go ahead and put this in the post just like that. We'll hold this and then peel off number one just like that. That part's done. Now we're going to put the little posts into the bottom here. Make sure that it's in there really well. All right, we are set. Hard part is pretty much done. Now we're going to take our squeegee here. We're going to rest these little posts into the very sides of the plastic here. And then we're just going to push all the way forward and do not stop. And we'll hold, we'll hold down with our other hand on the plastic piece. Again, just push forward. Once that's done, you can just keep holding, release the top from the posts. And then we'll continue to just push down any parts that we might see that we might have missed. Everything looks pretty good. Now, very carefully, we're going to peel off this top layer, making sure that it doesn't take the underside screen protector with it. Very carefully. Flawless installation. You can do this too. <laughs> so then we can use the smaller side to kind of smooth out any bubbles that we might see. Just be very careful. Pull out that post if it helps you a little bit. Just smooth out any of the edges. Of course I had to miss a little piece of dust. It's ever so frustrating. Looking good so far. All right. Now that's done, we can poke out our phone, put a little cameras here, just lift that up. Now we'll go ahead and take a look at our phone. It feels really nice, just kind of like glass, nice and smooth. I don't have any bubbles except for that one little piece that a piece of dust got stuck under the screen, of course. That's my luck. Hopefully it'll be better for you, but other than that, flawless installation. If you follow the way that I just did it, you should have absolutely no problems whatsoever. So we'll do test out the touch. Nice and smooth. Perfect. No issues whatsoever. Touch working perfectly. Crystal clear. Looks really nice. So for the most part, it does reject fingerprints. It does collect some, but you can easily wipe them away with minimal effort. No problem there. Beautiful installation. Very nice. I'm, I'm very happy. Very happy with this. So let's go ahead and move on to the front screen. So again, we'll go ahead and wipe this down. And we'll go ahead and get our screen protector here. We're going to peel off the underside. Just like that. And we'll go ahead and install it the best that we can. Once you're happy with that, you can go ahead and just squeegee out any bubbles you might see. Then we're going to go ahead and put the squeegee behind number one. Lift up and over, push out, just like that, very nice. Same thing with number two, up, 
push over. Very nice installation. We'll go ahead and use one of our guide stickers again to take off that protective layer. Careful not to lift up the screen protector. Very nice. Beautiful installation. Feels super clean, nice and smooth. Touch, working perfectly fine. Very nice, very clear. The touch working fine. It does collect some fingerprints, but again, minimal effort to wipe them away. There is a slight line in the middle. You guys can see that, but you can't see it when you're looking dead on at the screen. So that doesn't even bother me, and that hopefully will disappear within a couple days. Flawless installation, no bubbles whatsoever. You really can't even tell that the screen protector is on there. Very nice. Let's go ahead and do the case test. Perfect. So you shouldn't have any problems with the cases either because the screen protector takes up so much of the screen that the case should just nicely rest over the screen protector. No lifting, no issues. Very nice. So I'm super impressed with Whitestone Dome's premium gen film and I have no choice but to give this one a thumbs up. And then here we have the Whitestone Dome Glass Easy. This comes with a hinge protector. It also comes with a camera protector, two screen protectors, and two installation packets. So first we'll go ahead and clean off the screen, then we'll dry it off. Now what I would recommend before installing your glass screen protector is if you're gonna use a case, take at least the top portion of the case and install it on your phone, and then install the screen protector inside of the, the case you're going to use to make sure that it's gonna fit and you can use the screen, the case as a guide. And I'm gonna peel off the back screen protector here, just like that. And then I'm just gonna place it inside my case cover and it should perfectly line up. Then run your finger down the middle and it should adhere to the whole screen, just like that. So there is the screen protector, it looks absolutely amazing. Touch works perfectly fine. It's crystal clear, it's nice and slick, just like glass. Touch working beautifully. Let's go ahead and test out the fingerprints. It does collect some fingerprints, but what glass doesn't? Uh, very easily wipes away though, no problems. There you go. So I'm gonna go ahead and try my case one more time, see what happens. It's probably gonna push up on it, but we'll go ahead and see. Yeah, so that same little corner. It's just, just a titch off. So you will have to try this with your case just to see if it works. Uh, but that little corner is just, just a titch too big or it's I misaligned it when I was installing it. But the screen protector is really nice. It's got a little cutout for your camera up at the top here. So you don't have to worry about any dirt or anything on the screen interfering with that. So now let's go ahead and test out the scratch protection. Now this is the same glass that the liquid adhesive is using, so the scratch protection should be exactly the same as that. Go ahead and start off with a level five. And we'll take it up to a level six. And then finally a level seven. All right, so absolutely no marks from the level five. There are from a level six and ever so slight for a level seven. Six and seven look pretty much exactly the same, which is pretty good. Definitely give this screen protector a thumbs up. It's clear, it feels really nice and smooth. Scratch protection is great. It should be case friendly because it doesn't come all the way up to the edge, but the one little corner, like I said, when I was installing it, it is peeling up. But other than that, it's a really nice screen protector. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a thumbs up. And then here we have the Whitestone Dome Premium Screen Protector that uses liquid adhesive. So for this installation, you're gonna need a couple things extra. I would get some paper towels, some Q-tips, and for our curing LED, you're either going to need a USB wall adapter or a power bank. So here we have a little installation packet. We have our installation tray. We get our instructions guide. We get a hinge protector, some extra pads, and some extra protectors for our buttons and cutouts. And we get two screen protectors. 
and three vials of liquid. So the first thing we need to do is to clean our phone screen. Then we'll dry it off. Then we're going to insert our phone into the jig here. Use a little wipe to kind of press the phone into place. We'll get rid of any dust. The next thing we need to do is install our side and speaker covers. So we'll go ahead and peel off this little strip underneath here, just like that. And then we want to install them along the sides of the phone. Then I would use my wipe to kind of press that down. And then we'll put this down over the little slots. And we'll use our wipe to press that down again. Then we'll put down our speaker covers. Pretty much the same way that the other one worked, this one's going to work too. Make sure you take this little piece out first. And we'll just press that down very lightly, but make sure it is stuck down on the screen. And we'll go ahead and do the same thing for the top here. Make sure it is pressed down very good because you don't want the liquid to get into your speaker. Then we're going to go ahead and press this down over the top of our phone, making sure that the speaker portion is to the top of the phone. Okay, that is firmly in place. Now we're going to take our little piece here and we're going to insert it into the top. There's a little spot for it, just like that. Then we're going to insert this bridge into the middle here, just like that. Then we're going to slightly unscrew the black end just to start it just a little bit. Then we're going to unscrew totally the blue end here, holding it upright. Then we'll go ahead and turn this upside down into the little hole here and undo the rest of the black until all the adhesive has come out of the vial. Okay, we'll put the black cap back on. We'll take this out. Put the blue cap back on so it doesn't get everywhere. And you can throw that out. Then we'll remove the bridge. Then we'll take one of our screen protectors. We're going to peel off the bottom here, just like that, making sure you don't touch the underside. We're going to put it bottom first into the jig, and then it's going to rest on top of the little black piece we have here. Now, what we need to do is press on the bottom of the jig so the little bubble goes directly in the middle here, and as soon as it touches the screen, we'll pull out this little black piece here. Now, if need be, if the bubble moves off to the right or to the left a little bit, you can kind of correct it by tilting the whole thing, but you need to make sure that when it gets to this point, it's in the middle and it touches the screen. So we're going to go ahead and push down to try to get it down to the middle. Again, as soon as it touches the middle, we'll go ahead and release. So you see it started going off to one side. We'll correct and then push down and then release. And then just let the adhesive go all over the whole screen until it's done. Do not press on the screen protector right now. Just let it let it rest. It may take a few minutes for the, the adhesive to get all over uh, the glass. Okay, so once you see that the liquid adhesive has covered the whole entire glass screen, we're going to go ahead and start our first curing. So you're going to plug in your LED again to either a wall adapter or a power bank like I have here. So we're going to start the curing process. We're going to cure the top for 15, middle 15, and then bottom for 15. So just press the button in one time and then leave it. Then we're going to do the middle for 15 and then the bottom for 15. 
Okay, now we very carefully need to take this jig apart and take our phone out. So what we're going to do here is there's a couple plastic tabs on the side. We just need to press those in to release and then we're going to lift up on the jig here. Okay, looking good so far. Very nice. Okay, so now that that's off, just kind of take a look around to make sure that there's no adhesive everywhere. Once you're satisfied that there's not going to be liquid everywhere, you can then start to take off your protectors here. Then we're going to take our phone out of the jig here very carefully. Try not to touch the glass at all. Just look around the edges, make sure everything's nice and clean. Looks really good. Very nice. So far so good. I don't see any liquid adhesive everywhere, so I don't need to really clean anything up. If you do have liquid adhesive, just gently take an alcohol wipe and wipe down the sides, but this looks super clean. So we'll go ahead and do the final curing process, which is 60 seconds on the top, 60 seconds on the bottom, and then repeat one more time. So then all you need to do is press the button in twice. Then we'll go ahead and move this down to the bottom and do the same thing, 60 seconds. And then repeat one more time. And now you're done. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. Flawless installation. No bubbles whatsoever. Very smooth glass. Got a nice little cutout for your camera. Let's go and test out the touch. Working beautifully. Nice, no issues there. And as far as the fingerprints goes, it does pick up some fingerprints, but you can easily just wipe those away with minimal effort. Very nice. This one's definitely going to get a thumbs up. Now, as far as the scratch protection goes, this glass, again, is the same exact glass as you get with the EZ, but this stays on a lot better because it uses the liquid adhesive. So let's go ahead and test it out with my case. There you go, no issues there either. There's no lifting because the adhesive is holding the screen protector down. Very nice. So you can see no bubbles, no lifting, just pristine. <laughs> this is my favorite screen protector. It can be a little overwhelming to install, but if you follow the instructions that I just showed you, as you can see, it, you can do it too. It comes out great. So that is it for the Whitestone Dome screen protector lineup for the brand new Galaxy Z Fold 4. Again, I will be putting links in the description in case you guys want to pick up any of these yourself. And if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use those links because it helps me keep purchasing products to do reviews for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell to let you guys know when I put out new videos. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Later.